Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Gavin here from Starfresh Personal Training and today I'm going to go over um, eight um, exercises you, that you should be doing before any workout, okay? So this, uh, this comes under a bit of a warm-up, so before you do these sort of um, dynamic stretches, if you like, you need to be doing about five to seven minutes on a, a cardio machine of your choice, whether it be a gentle jog or a cycle or a rower uh, or a cross trainer. Uh, whatever it is you need to do, you need to do about five to seven minutes, okay? And um, the reason for that is to get your heart rate up. Um, it's going to warm your body um, thoroughly, so you're going to be prepared to exercise. And then um, we're going to go into eight dynamic stretches, okay? So the, the reason that we're going to do dynamic stretches is because it's a lot better for your body before a workout. Um, and it's going to, you know, help you uh, get through the workout without injuring yourself. The problem with static stretching before a workout is that A, it can sort of uh, inhibit uh, your performance um, and it, sometimes you could cause an injury, right? So we're gonna try and just use dynamic stretches, get the body moving, loosen up all the joints, all the ligaments, all the muscles, and it's gonna prepare you for exercise. So first I'm gonna go through is leg swings, all right? So I'm gonna use this, uh, this foam roller just for some balance, okay? Normally you can use a wall or anything else. If you've got really good balance, you can just, uh, you can just do it, do it without holding on to anything. You can hold it for balance, and the leg on the outside, you're just gonna swing it back and forth, okay? So all we do is swing all the way to the end ranges of both ways and keep that leg nice and straight. And you're gonna feel a nice gentle stretch in the hamstrings and your hip flexors. And you're gonna just swing it nice and gently for 10, 10 per side. Then you're gonna face what you're holding onto, whether it be a wall or a post, and you're gonna bring the leg across your body. So give, give, give yourself some space. And what you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel a stretch on the inside of your leg, and you're gonna feel a stretch just in, in, the, in the outer glute to the butt extras there. 10 per side, all right? So you do 10, 10, 10, all right? Next thing we're gonna do is just we're gonna free up sort of all the, the torso. So you have a nice, uh, nice natural stance, just feet and the hips, and you bring your arm, you're just gonna swing it back and forth, okay? And what you might find like I'm feeling now, there's a bit of a clicking in the back, and that's good. Just try and keep your hips nice and nice and straight, and just let your arms drift back and forth. You do ten of those again. All right, then you're going to do some uh, some hip circles. Okay, so we need to loosen up all this this big hip joint here. Sometimes you can get a bit stiff. So you're just going to come forward. And you're just going to circle it forward. When you come through, squeeze squeeze your glutes forward gently to really push those hips out, and come back. And what you're going to feel. You're gonna feel a stretch in the back of the legs if you do it right. You're gonna feel a stretch all the way around. So you're gonna do 10 per side. 10 one way, 10 the other. All right, so really loosen up those hips, which is gonna be really good for you. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take care of each hip individually. So again, you can use this for balance if you need to, but you're gonna bring the hip across the front of your body and out. And you do 10 per side. Same the other side. 10, up the side. 10. And once you've gone from the inside to the out, you go from the outside to the in. Okay, so you bring it in that way, in, and you really get that, uh, that, that uh, hip joint uh, limbered up. Then, what you're going to do is, you're going to do some work on those hamstrings a little bit. So instead of doing a really static hamstring stretch, which isn't going to be good for you before a workout, you're going to come down, you can, so if, I can, if you can see there, I'm going to grip my fingers under the toes if, if that's if you've got the flexibility. Bend the knees and then just lift your bum up, nice and gentle. Feel the stretch at the top and come back down. Up, and again, you can do that 10 times. If you can't grab the bottom of your feet, don't worry too much, just come down as low as you can. And even if your hands are on your, uh, on your shins, just come down and lift it, lift it straight those legs and lift the bum up. That's going to get those hamstrings working. So, next one is going to be um, like a sprinter lunge type stretch, okay? And you're gonna do it, um, what this is gonna do is gonna work out, it's gonna like strength, stre uh, sorry, I'm gonna put my teeth back in. You're gonna stre uh, stretch out the hip flexors and a bit of external rotation of the trunk as well. You're gonna come in, set up, you put one, heart, one hand or arm on the knee, drop it down so it's by the side of your foot, both feet are parallel forward. And you're gonna come up, oops, and you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna come in, swap sides, up. And again, you're just gonna do 10 in total, okay? So from the front, 
Looks a bit like this. Arms down, out, out. And you're gonna feel a lot going on in your lower body, in your hips, and even in your torso. Okay, really good stretch. And the last one we're gonna do is gonna again work on that lumbar, the lower back. Come onto the floor, and this arm is gonna be just out to the side, bring your knee across, and gently take it over to the end range, and alternate. It's gonna help with the thoracic spine, the top of your back as well. And again, you're just gonna do 10 in total. So once you've gone through your five minute warm up and you've gone through these exercises, it's only going to take you about maybe 10 or 11 minutes to get it all done, then you're going to be in a really good position to exercise, right? You're going to be in a really good position to train. And what you'll find is your performance through the exercises is probably going to be better than it would be if you didn't do these uh, dynamic stretches. Um, that's it for now, guys. Um, if you like this video, give me a, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any, uh, any particular injuries or any uh, parts of your body you'd like uh, to, to focus on particularly, uh, give me an email or drop a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it for you, right? So, like I said, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Um, if you need anything else, happy for you to email me on my email address below. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, start afresh to the end of the day. If you don't start afresh today, you know, do do something different today. How will tomorrow be any different at all? Cheers.